Hey guys, Brad Dorsey here with Real Estate Investor Made Easy. We are getting into Privy and going through the process of the on-market system. So I just wanted to kind of bring you guys through what I'm doing on a daily basis, showing you how to open up market, what to do when you see a property that you like, when you find a buyer. I'm just kind of showing you my process. And you guys haven't watched the structure of the process that I do. That'll be really helpful to kind of show you guys how I've gotten here already. And if you can, or, or if you want to, go watch the videos in that series i believe there's uh, it's a short series there's only five videos that are five to ten minutes long and, and you gotta go through the exact step-by-step -step process that i use and so i wanted to kind of get in here because i just got into the jacksonville market we've been in this market for a while but as far as on market properties go i just kind of opened this up so just going through the lists here and just so you guys know my goal every day is to have each of my days on market list be zero You'll see like in my other markets here, they're all zero. And so we're going through Jacksonville right now. So I just wanted to kind of bring you guys along and show you exactly what this looks like. Looks like an older roof, brick home. We're in Florida. That's good. Block and brick is always better than wood frame. But as far as like what we can do on the inside, I'm going to say no. And we're just going to be moving along. The name of the game is speed in the system. Let's see your 1945. Got a pretty big lot for such a, you know, kind of a smaller home. We'll go 139, okay? And this template's available. You guys want to get it. It's, the link is below. But I'm going to put in 179. This will spit out for me based on what my percentage of ARV is for my buyers and what my discount is. I'm going to go with a $35,000 discount, I think, to a price point near here. I think that's good. I can move that with buyers. With like a five, maybe 10K assignment sheet, depending on how good the, the deal is. So we need to see the ARV comps right here at 240. So, and that's at 60%. So we're here the comps. Like I said, just kind of what I've shown you guys before. Actually, I'm going to redraw this because I don't want anything outside of like major thoroughfares. So let's see what we got. I've already selected all. I'm just going to sort it by date. Okay, we're looking for 240 comps. We got 1,200 square feet, two bed, one balance with a pretty sizable lot. Let me switch to the satellite here too. Can we zoom in? See what we got? Little just on something. Okay, the square footage is all I want to see. Now this is a big, big lot. Let's take a look. All right, we got the nice countertops. Okay, well, let's look at this here because there's something now. This is the comp, right? There we go. Perfect. That's what I'm looking for right here. So what I'm gonna do is, cause this was obviously a flipped home. They got it for 109. All right, Target Homes, Jax LLC, bought it for 109 on 2021. Yeah, they had to do a bunch of price reductions, held it for a little bit, hold on, but they got it sold. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is with this comp, okay, so we're, we've got 265, right? We wanted to be at 240. Okay, so this is looking good. This was sold mid month last month that's great and it's like 30 days ago so for this comp though right i'm looking at this comp i'm going to put this in buyers to contact so what i'm going to do is in the notes of this one that i just added i'm going to put in possible buyer for can okay and then because we've got a good comp we've got a good buyer who's obviously doing work right in this area here's where that that property was here's our our subject property so definitely want to get on the phone with him and see if he's still buying in this area. They bought it for 109. So what did we have? Our 173 was in 104. See, okay, perfect. So this is where I, exactly where I want to be. I want to be right around there because this guy bought Pimento Street, that, that comp at that 260 at 109. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put in, it was 105's offer, 265 erv okay and i always put these notes in because i'm doing a lot of properties okay you'll see here when i switch this to my comp folder i'm gonna have 20 properties and i'm not even you know i'm probably like a quarter of the way through everything that i need to get through in jacksonville so we're gonna have a lot of properties to put offers on and i'm not gonna remember the kind of the analysis i did so when i go in to do a quicker analysis i'm gonna just kind of like you know just just glance over it make sure i'm not like super crazy far off i'm gonna get get it moving moving and growing here you know you're gonna get brick hole and park that floor first what thing to do here now if you guys see all right so maybe maybe like with this hardware these countertops like okay it could have been a flip who knows okay i'm not seeing any lcs so what we're gonna do is just drop this in the field Soft bed, okay, but I'm moving on. 
But if we see like an obviously, we got some work to be done here through and you guys are obviously seeing like a property that was done by a slipper. Don't put it in failed software. Even if it does, that's fine. Because when we put them in buyers to contact, we'll see it. And we'll know, obviously, we're just going to be contacting those buyers. Like, we don't need to, we, we know it didn't pass. 120, I got to make sure I have the right list price on this one. So 120, we'll say uh, um, 30K discount. It's 90K offer. We need 160. And I'm doing 60% of it could go lower, honestly, like with buyers these days, like in this, just in this market, they're buying, you know, pretty low. So that kind of helps you guys pull up. Just make sure you're not wasting time on these. Okay. So we're looking for 150s. Let's just actually take a look at the notes too. So you guys don't know this, but you know, before I got alone and started recording, I actually talked to Chris. There's seven properties that this seller has that he's willing to do a discount on. So I already know after just going through the property marks and seeing the realtor that th this is one of them. I'm just going to drop it in the comp. I, I already know that I need to, to be doing that. All right. So this is what it's going to look like, guys. Whoops. Here we go. We'll just drop it in here. This is it. You know, I mean. You need to be doing this volume too to be to be getting offers accepted and deals done. Like it's just a numbers game, and that's why speed through this is is crucial. Like we don't need to spend a lot of time. If it's obvious that it's not a deal, some boom failed, failed. Yeah, I mean, like we need to just get through these. I'm not trying to critique everything. Like oh, those are older cabinets. You know, we should do that. We could do that. It's like no, we we know. This isn't worth it, so let's just move on to the deals that are obvious. We got one picture here, let's look at the notes. So usually when there's one picture, yeah, I'm Walsher Special. Where are we at? 125. If I'm 90, right? Or to be at 90, I, again, we want a 150 comp, the RV comp. Now, that 60% should account for most of my renovation costs. What I have noticed is that I will need to come down even from that if I want to hit my net profit goal percentage, get at least 15% in markets like these for buyers if it's like a bigger house. So this kind of like quick back of the napkin mass here may need to be adjusted when you finally get into like an actual deal analyzer, which we also have available. Um, I don't have it pulled up here. But uh, we do have a deal analyzer available. That's in one of the links below that we use. Once we finally, you know, go through the the soft net process and go through a comp, then we run those numbers through and we're like, okay, are we going to be actually are we actually with the size of the property going to be hitting target percentages, or do we need to adjust with bigger houses? You know, starting to get into like you know closer like 17, 1800 and above. You may need to adjust that. So just keep that in mind. But that's why I have it like set at 60. I could have it set at 55, you know, um, that could be better, but I think 60 is sufficient. So we need to see 150, 1400 square feet, 7,000 foot lot, three bed, two bath, built in like 230. I'm through here, there's 1400. This is at a fixer also. Okay. So here, let's see who bought this because they bought it at 104.5 in December. And I like to see. Buyer, Bank of America. Cheerio. This must have been like a repo or something. Or not a repo. <laughs> a foreclosure or some type of like, you know, certificate of transfer. I mean, maybe it was like a Dean Lou or something. I don't know. Either way, Glad Mini Property Solution. They're buying properties to obviously flip. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go here. Buyers to contact. And then what was the address and subject property? Broadway. And so I'm going to go in here. So as I'm setting these properties up, if I do end up getting a deal locked in, I can just immediately go into Privy and, and go to that buyer and be like, hey, if I had a property that was comparable to the one that you bought back in December, you know, saying Bed Bath Carol, it's pretty much the same square footage. If I got it at the same purchase price for you guys, would you guys be, are you guys still buying or are you open to, to um, still, you know, doing deals? Hopefully they are, and we can just get it, get it sold that way. It's kind of the best way to do it. In some cases, like local guys who are doing their own work, you know, it may just be better for them. And so we're looking for cost standpoint. It may have better, better costs if we can just get a local guy that knows the market, you know, the little sub market. So 
Anyways, where are we at again? 160, right? Okay, so looking, looking, looking. We had 177. What was that? 1100 square feet? 3 what? Let's see. What do we got? Oh my goodness. Okay, sometimes privy just goes immediately to that, and I don't like that. Okay, obvious flip. Here we got brand new appliances. Cool. So here's what we're going to do three bed, one bath, 1100 square feet. So we're, we're going to go in, and we are going down here. We're going to check and see buyer and that's unfortunate. Seller unknown. How weird. Here's what we're going to do, guys. Prunk zip. Okay, I'm still going to add this to my to contact. And I'm going to put in the notes. Possible buyer for Broadway. Because why? Just because I don't know the buyer through the property records, I'm still going to go find that information through with this agent. Hey, AJ, you sold a home back in December on Allison Street. Hey, here's your phone number. I'm just guessing at that name. That is just crazy. Hey, did you want to? Saw you sold one on Allison Street back in December. You know, I was hoping to see if we could do a deal. Now, here's why the agent's going to want to mention the buyer, or at least connect you. Well, they've already sold a home for this buyer. If they did a good job and the buyer likes them, if they bring them another deal, Guess who's getting the realist? So of course she's gonna wanna get her buyer to get a property renovated because once it's re realisted, she's getting that realist. Just keep that in mind. For a ten one. That's what I'm talking about when it goes down. You know, maybe they did a little bit of work, but no, it's just like it has his cup for a bigger hole. So I'm good with like a 175 ARV, which definitely gives us that room there. So I will say 90K offer. RV and putting it in clumps and we're reading a lot. You see now why it's critical you guys put those notes in there. Sometimes the direct MLS down is not there, which is fine because it still is going to tell you that it's listed. Well, and this is why probably it's not on credits option. So you guys think it is for it? And it's in foreclosure. Okay. With this one, well, two twice worry at the listing. Okay. So, twice full. Those we can get, you know, 189. We're looking through 315. Yeah, tell me if you guys like this process or what you guys would do differently. You know, tell me the comments because I'm really curious what you guys think on, on these. Yeah, good, good idea to like try to stay in these like pockets, these little micro pockets in between. Like I wouldn't want to get columns from over here and I definitely don't want columns like along the water, you know, ge generally like bigger geographical barriers and, and borders like big freeways or, or thoroughfares like this Hendrix Avenue here are going to be indicators of like you going into a different development or some other, other, you know, uh, area that's not going to club, you know, so. Well, and that could skew your numbers and you don't want that. So definitely good to keep, just make sure you use that drawing function more. Like the target property is always going to be kind of this like white column color. So you, you know exactly where it's at. But the, the property we're looking at right here that I've selected will kind of jump out a little bit. So you can see geographically where it's at, you know, and we're, we're close, right? So 302 is a smaller property with one less bedroom and similar lot signs. This is nice. Let's see. But yep, yeah, so not a flip or I mean, they just did a live there remodel. So 302, but it is, it was remodeled. You know, it look, did look nice. So 302 is the number. You could pump that up a little bit because even if you're like 20 square feet under a thousand, like 980, 985, it's going to be under a thousand square feet. A lot of people don't want properties under that, so they're going to be searching a thousand or over. And so you may not get as many eyes. So just keep that in consideration. Like when you go under a thousand square feet, like prices can drop dramatically, you know, just because it's a smaller home. Just to be aware for culping purposes. I mean, we very well could be at 315 with an 1184 square feet. Like what is, I hate doing it this way because this is like the worst way I think to do this is how realtors will do it. But let's see, we had three hundred two dollars a square foot. And we had eleven eighty four. This is why, and this is not the best way to do this. Is say it's at three hundred eighty one thousand dollars at that price per square foot. 
but we don't have like comps to support that. That's why I don't like to. Okay, so I've got one at 302, right? I've got one at 302. Let's just call it 305, bigger square footage, but I'm being conservative, right? Here's what's great about this, because I don't have to like kind of figure out, oh, what am I going to need to do? All I need to do now is go the opposite way on my on my calculator, and I want to see, okay, if the comp is coming in at 305, right? This is what I was originally, my offer was originally at. Okay. So to be at 16% of ARV, I need to have a, a offer at 183. Okay, we'll just call it 180. We'll call it 183 AR offer. And what do we say? So oh, full ARV. Just want to see this one real quick. Is this a new build? No, it's not a new build. This is a flip. So this is why I love this. At the same time, I'm, I'm copying properties and finding deals. I'm also finding buyers that are like right around the corner for the properties. So they've already done flips, like basically next door to the properties I'm about to put offers on. So like, why wouldn't they? They could own the whole street, you know, own rights to bragging rights for the whole street. Like, of course. Okay, with the property address on this on park right okay so so i've got my notes in here yep always 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 i just hate what i see in there when i finally uploaded it with my share in that i see in there that it is does not have notes that like i just want to kill past brad because it's just i don't want to have to go through that full process again you know i just want to like double check my numbers you know real quick all right, brick home. You always give it in Florida. Definitely. Internet. Senior owner. Okay, 168. We're going to I typically, for like that price point, around like the one, the 175 to 300 in there. I'm keeping it around 35 or so I'll discount 35 to 50 kilo. Um, you know, I want to make sure that the balance in wholesaling on market deals, guys, is making sure that when you lock the deal up and you've got a contract, okay, when you take that to a buyer, the buyer is like, I couldn't have just bought this on the NLS, basically. Like it's that close. So I want to give them a you know, a good enough deal to where they're going to want to buy the deal for me and not just wait, you know, until like my contract falls out and just lock it up themselves. So, okay, 133, we're coming in at 220, either 225. My clubs. Good idea, too, guys, when you're doing this is like when you see these smaller price points, what, who's buying these? What are these? Are these like where? buyers want to be at like where would we be 133 it's way off of 40 48 80 is this where these guys want to be for these types of properties in this area okay i'm gonna redraw this i don't want to go across west beaver You know, like here's a fixture, 45, 84, like, all over, 48, 80, it's 230, what is this, 5 bad, okay, 220, all right guys, I'm going to be going through a bunch more of these, you guys see, like here's another one, oh, I'm going to be going through, I hope this was helpful for you guys, thank you so much for going through the training videos, and if you guys are enjoying these and want to model our process, want to get the templates that we're using to comp our deals, doing the quick comps, doing a full deal analysis with the full deal analyzer, or you want to track your offers from the emails you sent out to those deals being accepted, click on the link below in the description labeled REI Made Easy's on Market Privy Templates. You guys get those, you can use them. It's the stuff I use in the videos and it's really helpful. So you guys want to start getting deals? What are you waiting for? Click on the link below.